and uh, I'm going to go in a little different direction with my uh, talk today and thinking about how uh, writing is starting to shift and change a little bit based on the technology and digital media in the hands of ourselves as teachers and also of our students. Um, and thinking in terms too of how uh, we as teachers can connect with other teachers to explore these changes that are going on and make meaning of them and then bring them into our classroom as well. So, um, you know, this is just one of many graphs you can find talking about the overwhelming amount of writing and sharing and composing that's going on around our world with ourselves, uh, for us who tweet in this room, um, or in the conference, uh, but also with our students, and particularly around Facebook and other social networking spaces. Um, and how so much of it is built around a kind of small, uh, short bursts of writing. That's kind of what I'm talking about here, which is ironic even that this is making me talk very quick um, and get to the point as much as possible. But what if all presentations were like this, where you really had to narrow down and focus in on the main elements? So I was thinking about this a little bit because I was reading uh, Telegraph Avenue, uh, which is a really, it's a great book, uh, but there's one sentence that goes for 12 pages long in the book. Um, and, you know, I was thinking, I was reading, I was like, wow, that's just way too long for me. And um, I don't think it's so much my attention span, although maybe it is, um, as much as this kind of uh, shift in the way that uh, we, in particular our students, are kind of seeing things and noticing um, how they write in kind of shorter and shorter bursts. Um, and if we're seeing that happening, um, and the elements that still go into that, how is we as teachers can help them see that that form of writing can still have merit. You still have to have all these elements that we talk about in when we're writing uh, analytical pieces or fiction. There's still writers, um, but we're reimagining in some ways the ways that they're writing, the platforms that they're writing on, and also thinking too about are, is technology shaping the way that we're writing, or is our writing kind of shaping the technology itself? Um, and, you know, this brings up a lot of complaints about the kind of writing that we're seeing out of our students as well right now and how the drift of those kind of informal writing spaces that they're doing is coming into the formal writing that we want to do in the classroom. And so this is kind of thinking about the balance that goes on. This idea of short form writing is not new really, although it's kind of risen to the surface of technology. Um, you know, aphorisms and um, other kind of small kind of nuggets of wisdom that have been passed down through the ages uh, we're all in this idea of short form writing that allowed uh, the writer or the oral person to really encapsulate the meaning in a short amount of time. So there are some versions of this, and I've used these with teachers and also in my classroom, um, around the idea of how to narrow your vision to a main point and capture it sometimes in only six words, uh, which if you're curious about that, uh, the Smith Magazine does a great uh, piece around youth writing six word memoirs. Um, and also the idea of 25 word stories, which is a great narrative device I learned out from a, a writing project colleague uh, and about using Twitter as a place to write stories in 25 words or less. And part of this is you have to think about um, you know, what it is that you need to leave out. It's all about inferential writing and inferential reading because you can't pack everything into 140 characters or a status update on Facebook or whatever it happens to be. That you really have to have some certain skills around uh, how you connect your writing to something else. <laughs> and um, you know, memes are a, a, a one of these examples of how viral writing and visual media and composition as a whole, if we think of it in terms of encompassing writing and the visual and video all together, um, how quickly they kind of spread and that's literacy that's going on. And in the teacher networks that I'm part of with the writing project and others, um, you know, we do try to explore some of these different elements ourselves in kind of the safe area so that we as writers and teachers can uh, be doing things along the same realm that our students are doing and then consider how this can be a learning experience for our students. Uh, certainly text messaging is one of those complaint department ones. Uh, and uh, you know, how many times we circle the letter U? Um, this was a video that my son put up and uh, there's actually no video in it. It's one second long and it just has the title. And uh, when I looked the other day, actually it was up over 300 views. Um, and, but uh, I put that up really to think about um, you know, how video is a text, but also considering kind of this uh, shortened kind of thing. But it's balanced. We don't want students just writing short texts. We want them to be envisioning themselves as writers across different mediums and across different ways. And how do we provide the space and uh, kind of the ability to do that? And I'll just end with uh, Daniel Pink's one sentence project in which he asked people, okay, if you were gonna uh, put your, your life in one sentence, what would your sentence be? 
to think about that.